there and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever had that piece of furniture that you weren't sure what to do with? This shelf I inherited from my grandmother after she passed away. We weren't sure if we were going to just donate it or if someone wanted to take it home with them. And I figured I could use it somewhere in my home. So I stuck it in my garage and after Christmas when the tree was removed I realized that I needed to have something in that corner. So I took out my paint sprayer, found some paint, and went to work. I used fusion paint and plaster. And I used my paint sprayer because I thought it would, I, it would make quick work of this job, but um, I don't know that I got great coverage. I covered the shelf with it um, and then ended up just taking it inside, laying it down, and hand painting it with the same paint and but I'll let you see quickly the job that I did and as you can see here it turned out great after I painted it I ended up ask, adding some dark wax to it just to bring out some of the details in the drawers below and at the top. Quickly I'll show you um, some of my treasures I ended up being able to, to um, display on it. First, in the basket right by the shelf, my son um, was getting rid of this water jug and um, I thought how cool that would be to just stick a plant in it or stick a, just some branches in it like I did here. And you can't really see the label from the water bottle. So anyway, it was free. I stuck it in there and it looks great. First, at the top of the shelf, when I was in Phoenix for a trade show um, a couple of months ago, I went into a Deseret Industries and it's a thrift store and it's mostly on the West Coast. And I'd heard on YouTube YouTubers channels that they went there for some really good thrift thrift finds and at good prices. So when I went in there, I found these two candlesticks. Um, the tall one was $4. The bottom one was $3. And I loved them. They had really nice detail. I didn't want to paint them. They look great. The crock I found at my local um, flea market or antique store. Ended up picking it up for $20. It was on sale. And so I really felt like I scored. On the top shelf, I have some blue willow, or maybe maybe it's faux blue willow. I don't know. But um, my grandmother gave me that. I have um, also next to it just a little plant. And um, here on the next shelf, my son made me that when he was in wood shop back when he was in middle school. And I just have some books and a basket some little roosters on top of there. Um, at Habitat, Habitat for Humanity Restore Shop, that little metal tin tile that's in the back, I found that for $3 there when I was picking up some cabinet doors. The lamp I found on Facebook Marketplace for $10. Although I did probably spend that much in gas just trying to get to pick it up. But... I liked it. It was the perfect size and just what I wanted for the shelf. On the next shelf, I had bought many, many years ago a painting. It's one of those paint by numbers paintings. And I just, I love the colors in it. I'll use it for decorating in the fall. And um, so I thought that would be really nice to display on the shelf. That is one of those candles, the little plant. Is one of those candles in it that is a fall candle and I just can't get myself to throw away throw it away I'm done with the candle and I just thought it was great for decorating with you can still see some of the wax in there um, and I just kind of bent one of those little lambs ear um, picks that I found at Walmart for two bucks and stuck it in there and it looks great it's the right color I think I have a Christmas one that I'll end up probably doing something similar with that I have hidden away that 
I really like the little vessels that they're in and can't get myself to throw it away. And on the bottom shelf, I just have a little rooster pillow that I just had in my storage and a little basket with a throw blanket and a bunny. So yeah, um, it was great for display. It looks fantastic in that corner. It adds just a pop of color. And, and you can see here the dark wax that I put on that on that drawer. It brings out those details. But to tell you the truth, I really wasn't sure that I wanted to use it. I thought, okay, it's dated. It doesn't go with my decor. But just adding some paint to it really made it look diff totally different. And um, like if you could have seen it in my grandmother's house with her collectibles in it or things that she wanted to display, it, <clears throat> it wasn't what I thought was my style. But, you know, you never know. You just got to give it some paint see if you like it. If not, you know, I would have sold it or used it, like I said, in storage in my closet. And, um, but I think it looks perfect out here. Thanks for joining me. I'm, you know, intending to take you with me when I go on trips for work. I travel a lot. When I go on trips for work, when at the end of the day, when I'm in my hotel room, I can either sit there and watch television or I can wander around um, and so I like looking for thrift stores and that's exactly what I did when I went to um, the Deseret Industries in Phoenix. If you want to come along with me on my journeys when I travel around or see my DIY projects make sure you subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram.